So, you wanna have fun on these games? Well, it's kinda simple really. Just have mentally unstable friends. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get going. Hello. 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 Talking my dirty balls. Let's see if I can get this bitch. <laughs> oh, it's automatically come through my webcam. Yo, Jay, what are you saying? I'm living like soon in the fucking future. Man's gonna put it in his own bummer. If you like that, then sub to the channel, bro. You heard the man. Subscribe. Although it's actually touchy kid. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Okay, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Maybe not, but uh, I just do want to put a disclaimer out there. I am not like a detailed guide, like person sort of thing. I am just a content creator that just makes funny moments out of my friends. So please do not take this seriously. Well, you can in a way, but I, I'm just sharing my own experience on just basically both of the games, both CS2 as well as Valorant, and how I honestly just have fun on the game. And uh, you never know, maybe my advice actually might help you guys. Hey, hey, fuck's sake, we're losing their attention, man. These fucking TikTok kids. <laughs> but anyways, I'll stop yapping. I'll go straight into the first advice, which is just basically lower your fucking standards of each game. Like, you guys set such a high expectation of you doing so well in each and every game, and it's really worrying, because, like, if you don't meet those expectations, you're just gonna go on a rampage. I mean, one advice that I could give you guys is literally just like, the game's just pixels on the screen, basically. There's no, there's not much of a need of like, you know, getting yourself so pumped up or getting that angry at a game anymore. Like, don't get me wrong, I do get those type of rage moments in like, certain games, but overall, it shouldn't be like a determining factor of like, your own mental health throughout the whole day, I guess. I mean, an example that I can give you is just basically like, if you're getting completely destroyed in a game, and they're completely gapping you on the other team. There's literally nothing that you can do. So if you were to basically just get angry at your own teammates and blaming stuff on the game, you're basically just making it a loss-loss situation. You lose the game, and then you just become unhappy. So it's really not worth at the end of the day, is it? But by accepting the loss and lowering your standards, Maybe you might be able to get like, you know, a couple of funny moments. Can, can we all do it in synchronize? Synchronize. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I mean, if you're anything like me, dude, you don't even need this advice, because I'm just a fucking goat. I'm close. I'm close. <laughs> Anyways. The second advice that I could give you guys is, uh, as I mentioned before, just to have some mentally unstable friends. I mean, I don't mean it literally, but uh, you kind of do have to have, like, you know, close friends that are, you know, somewhat open, I guess. And for some of you, it actually might be fucking difficult because you guys are very antisocial pieces of shit. No, but honestly, all jokes aside, having more friends just makes it so much less stressful when it comes to, like, just gaming in general. Um, obviously with like your whole blaming your teammates thing, obviously you're gonna blame like your friends sometimes, but obviously you're gonna be like, you know, joking around with them sort of thing. And obviously it just increases the chances of like getting more funny moments, uh, just because like you're not just by yourself, you know, just laughing at your own jokes, I guess. And my final tip or advice is, uh, I don't fucking know, fucking on the store game, I guess. Anyways. That was a very weird video to make, but uh, I just wanted to make this video because I've just seen so many like so much drama around like the unenjoyment of like both games, both like CS2 as well as Valorant. Hey, hey, fuck's sake, we lost our fucking attention again.